everybody seems to be putting cameras on these drones. So anytime everybody is doing one thing, I tend to want to do something else. This is a tree printing drone that I've set up. I first tried putting a circular saw on it. I thought it was funny. Take one. For obvious reasons, it's probably a bad idea. I've modified this drone to take a conventional pruning shear. I took the handles off of it, added a little linkage to a worm drive gear reduction drive shaft that goes all the way back to the motor back on the back end. I've chosen a motor that is about 900 watts and it has a 6.7 to 1 gear reduction on it. The reason I put it back there is to help balance things out. The important thing about what I'm trying to do here is control an aircraft within sub one inch limits. That's about the limit that this clipper opens to. So having this thing that's floating around in air to come up and do precise movements like that is actually a real chore. And I'm anticipating, unfortunately, that when we try to do that, we're opening ourselves up to some crashes, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. Now that we've seen that it actually is possible to clip things with an aircraft like this, uh, we need to build something that is designed for that and that alone in the future. Thank you.